you guys hello product focus friday is back i'm excited to be doing this again this month so let's go ahead and draw our designer or collection we're going to play with it's more designer um and then we'll draw our category and then we'll get right into our first layout hey james Come here, I need you to do me a favor. I'm doing a video. Can you come draw this out of the basket for me? Draw what? Draw, reach your hand in there and draw what I'm gonna be working with. Just one. Okay, what's it say? Crate paper, I think we already did crate paper. Mm. Let me look. See? Uh, we did not do crepe paper yet, so I have these three kits. We'll look at those in a second. Okay, hold on. Let me... i got to dump this stuff out. Is that camera still rolling? Mm-hmm. Oh. You're helping me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Draw one of those. Like two. Yeah, there's not very many in there. Paper. Okay, good. Okay. Hold on. Paper. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna be using kits, so come here, come here. I'm coming, I'm coming. So we need to find this baggie that says paper. There it is. There's not very many in here either, but <laughs> Can get it open. That'd be great. Whoop! Oh. Okay, I need you to draw one at a time. We need four. So draw one. First one is M. What? Embellishments. Did that get in the wrong thing? Draw another one. I think that's supposed to be in this one. Pick the fat one. I picked the fat you one. You picked the fat one? What's the fat one say? Branding strips. Okay, first one's going to be branding strips. Okay, another. Colored card stock. Okay. Way in it, back in the corner. Mm -hmm. Cut file. Okay, and last one. There's only like four in there. Hmm. Well, there's one more. So that's right. A kit. You know what? We're already using a kit, so let's just use this last one. We're going to just be using kits, so it's funny. Uh, pocket cards. Okay, we'll add pocket cards. All right. Okay. Can you can you can you move Maxie? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You done? You go watch your shows again. Yeah. Okay. Love you. Love you too. All right. So we are gonna be creating with crepe paper. I threw out the kit option and paper because all I'm gonna do is play with kits. So it's kind of pointless. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're going to play with these three crepe paper kits I have from the scrap room. This one is called, um, is this open book? Yes. Open book from crepe paper. Oh, let's see. 2014. So it's pretty old. It came with two pieces of craft card stock. Ooh, some rub-ons. We get to see if they're still working. That's going to be kind of fun. Um, and this cute little gold bow. And these are the papers. So we got memoir. That's a nice. Um, slideshow. This could be fun. I don't know. And then this one I love, Recollection. I love the scallops. Mm -hmm. That's a good paper. So that's what that one came with. And then we've got this one that came also with craft cardstock. 
Uh, crepe paper lends itself to be very vintagey, so I feel like all of these have craft cardstock in them, which is funny because then I'm gonna have to go ahead and go pick some pattern or colored cardstock to go with it. But we got a couple um, chipboard frames in this one and some of these layered ephemera pieces. Some layered ephemera pieces. I think they're even stickers, um, so they're cardstock stickers, yes. Uh, and then, yeah, some layered ephemera pieces that are popped up, which is kind of cute. So a couple of stickers and then a butterfly and this little clipboard along with the chipboard frames. I really um, enjoy this paper and I kind of um, wouldn't mind cutting it apart. I don't know. Uh, but this is collection is notes and things and this is from 2014 as well. This paper is called Noted. I love the file folder um, thing. I think it's pretty cool. And this paper is really cool though too. So that's going to be hard to choose from. There's also these butterflies that look like they're telling us they need to be cut apart. But then there's also this beautiful paper on the back. Um, this one is called Honest. And then this one's with love. Gorgeous, floral, and then this beautiful polka dot. And then, like I said, craft card stock. I think that's all that came in that one. Yep, just went on to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then last but not least, this third one, I think it's a little bit newer. Um, Vanilla cardstock instead of some craft, which is kind of funny, but I got craft uh, stickers. So I've got some American Crafts craft hearts. Um, this one is called 14. So it must've been a Valentine one from 2012, so a little older. So we've got this beautiful page. This is Be Mine. I love this green, this beautiful floral, this fun page, this beautiful red, and this one's called Connection. What was the floral one called? Love. So love, connection, and be mine. This is a really gorgeous color too. So that is what we are going to be playing with this month for Product Focus Friday. These uh, three little scrap room kits. And then, oh, I almost forgot about the embellishments. Besides the craft hearts, there's these two, looks like vellum frames? A lot of frames, a lot of frames. There's a vellum sticker here. This is I'm All Yours, and it's stitched through. It's like a little layered banner. And then these two, is there two or three uh, frames? Snapshot, this one says, and it's more of a cardstock one, and it's like a lighter craft. And then Life, which is vellum. So we have those. All right, I am going to go find some photos and let's get working. Let's get started. Okay, so I decided to go with um, open book using that one first and I actually did end up using a lot of it and you'll see why. So I started creating or I started getting, gathering my picture. I have a photo of my cat um, when she started stealing my cut files um, last year. I couldn't believe it. Or two years ago. Um, I would find some of them uh, shredded and I was like what the heck uh, who is doing this are they just like we have two cats and I thought are they just like being crazy rambunctious and they're getting up there no then one day I was creating and she came up and took the cut file from me it was like I was using it and she took it from me so I wanted to create this page and then I thought this would be a fun page just because it's kind of a random story. It'd be a fun page to finally do the um, scavenger hunt that I also wanted to play along with. Apparently this is the week of doing the things I wanted to do along with the things that are supposed to be done this week. Um, so I missed out on some hops and other things in October that I really, really wanted to do and I started gathering all the ingredients for the scavenger hunt. So on our scrapping um, Scrappy Inspirations YouTube and Instagram hop group where we just put on some random hops all the time. Uh, we did a scavenger hunt or I should say they did a scavenger hunt on Halloween. It was supposed to be a fall um, themed layout and then there was a scavenger hunt 
uh, where there was a, we had a list of items that you had to get and then, you know, bragging rights if you found so many things. Um, so I decide that I'm going to turn this into doing the scavenger hunt because it was more, I was curious if I could do it or not. And so I wanted to give it a try. So if you want to find the other, um, videos that had it, uh, look for that, um, thumbnail that I just showed you a few seconds ago. So what I did is I took the one paper that had the houses on it that I wasn't a super big fan of, but I liked the other side, the colors. I liked going with these colors. Um, and I got it framed one of the, um, craft card stocks with it and then also matted my photo with it. And then I gathered some things. I had some tissue paper. I cut that in circles and then I grabbed two muffin, um, liners because that was on the um, scavenger hunt thing. And then I am also doing my branding strips because it's Project Focus Friday, right? So I'm putting some branding strips in. I also stitched some lines down um, on my page. I'm also kind of like, I saw a page by, I believe it was Cassie with Scarson from Paper um, Issues that I really was kind of inspired to kind of jump off point. Her page turns out um, is amazing. I would like to do another actual scrap lift of it, but I like the idea of it. Um, here, I'll show it to you. So I'm kind of basing my starting off point. I liked the circles. Mine goes completely awry. This is honestly one of the probably most chaotic pages that I've ever made. And I'm not really sure if it's good. So you guys, once again, I think I've said this a few times this week. I'm all about just having the creative process this week because I didn't get a lot of scrapbooking done um, this month at all. So I've laid my branding strips down. What I was doing before is I was missing with practice with what you peach um, through a stencil because also stencil, orange, and mist were um, items on the... Uh, scavenger hunt list and I've gathered a bunch of things I've gathered a doily also on the list um, so I'm just layering up those wonky circles I cut um, and the doilies and the muffin um, liners and kind of creating a weird crazy cluster of things around my photo I also grabbed a piece of paper um, using a pattern piece of paper that's not faller um, Halloween themed was an extra point and I used actually a birthday piece of paper I put it behind the photo I distressed all the edges a tag um, was part of that ribbon I'm gonna put some ribbon through my tag I'm also gonna journal on that tag and then I'm gonna just start tucking all these things you can see all these things I have gathered to the right there um, on the page that are part of the scavenger hunt list so I'm just going to, if I said it already, I'm just going to go through in the list and tell you what I all have on my page. So there were 31 items with options to get two, bo three bonus items. So flare, I'm going to add flare, a cut files or die cut. I'm cheating a little bit, but at the same time, I feel like I'm just being clever. There's a cut file on my picture. A uh, thread I sewed, um, I was, I stitched on my page. Pattern paper, use a theme paper, not for Halloween as an extra point. That's already, um, so I did that as well. So we've got, I'm going to keep track and how many. I didn't put sequins on. I was gonna, sequins, an extra point if you make a shaker pocket. I did not do that. Felt, I did not. Also, I had intentions, I did not. Puffy stickers I put on, acrylics. I'm going to use some color cast designs. I'm going to use two color cast designs words. I'm going to put one down on the right that says captured with a vellum uh, frame from the kits, the um, crepe paper kits. It's from one of the other ones. It says life. I'm going to cut it apart and put the frame in two places. So then I vellum in two places. And then I'm going to use a heck no acrylic title from color cast designs. Um, so puffy stickers, acrylics, stencil, mist, a cat. My picture is of a cat. Um, I will randomly paste on at the very, very end some glittery stickles. Um, it's like a clear iridescent one. I can't think of what it's called right now, and it's way across the room, and I don't feel like getting up. Uh, tissue paper. I'm going to add buttons. I will add nouveau drops. A toothpick that I'm going to take some ribbon and create a little banner. If I have not done that already, I'm not really watching my screen. Um, but I, oh yes, I tucked it up on the upper left side. 
uh, something made of metal. Uh, my buttons are actually, I have a button that's made of metal, brads. My brads are also metal. 3D flowers, that huge giant 3D flower that I made at a retreat. And then orange doily, I did that tag. Text print is something I did not have on there. Um, so I did not do text print unless you call the rub on I did on the one circle, which that rub on, by the way, says sometimes that thing you're looking for comes when you're not looking at all. I thought that was fitting because I was trying to figure out who was destroying my cut files. And then she walked right in front of me, uh, ribbon, vellum, a stick pin. I have a stick pin, um, that I tucked in over on the right hand side. That is a flag, a cupcake liner, um, debossing or embossing. I don't have any of that. Blackbird, I don't have. Pumpkin gourd, I don't have. Leaf, I have in that rub on. There's some leaves. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-six. Twenty-six out of thirty-one. Hey, that ain't bad for someone who is just literally throwing it together <laughs> and creating chaos. So I use some of those on Bella Boulevard puffy. Are they about? Are they doodle bug? You know, sometimes I can't tell from a distance. Um, I'm journaling on my tag, just writing that it's one thing to find ripped up cup file. And it's another thing to have her steal it from you while you're working with it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is just a very, very random, random layout. Now the flare I got all from, um, yes, please paper crafts. Um, flare shop. Less, yes, please. Buttons. I think she calls it. Now I got to look it up because I don't remember. It's yes. Yes, please. Yeah. It's the yes, please button shop. Um, she is having a hop today. Also, uh, we are celebrating her. So I will have another layout over there using her buttons and her flare. Um, for a scrap left of her. So you'll have to make sure you go check that out. But that is my layout, you guys. Like I said, it's chaotic. It's crazy. It's just a random hodgepodge of things. But at the same time, it's all about my scrapbooking. This, um, the spread is. So I thought it was in the same time kind of fitting because it's about, it's about that stuff. And I'm sitting here trying to make stuff. And it's technically a fall picture. It was in, it was in, um, September. So here's a few close-ups, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye.